Um, I was, I've done like, I think this is my third video that I've done, and I've done like two videos since my last video that I did not put up on YouTube. In any case, I've been watching a couple people's channels and I'm just kind of like, I really have to make a video and post it the same day. Um, so maybe I'll put like a clip or flashbacks to the two videos that I did. I did one at the piano and one in the woods. Or maybe I can just post them and say, hey, I like did these videos three months ago. Anyway, um, I actually do have interesting stuff to talk about. Um, yeah, the woods one is interesting to talk about, like, clear-cutting <laughs> and how much I hate it. Um, the piano one's interesting, but I kind of go insane because I'm playing technique and it was in my one week where I was just like, <laughs> I have to, um, do technique, so I'm pretty crazy. Um, however, in the meantime, I have done two huge exams, um, both for music. Me. This is my textbook for music history. It's kind of, it's a weird textbook. It's got like tons of information in it, but it um, is kind of mediocrely written. Is mediocrely a word? I don't know. This is the book that I used for Harmony 3. This, um, I did Harmony, uh, History 4 before I did Harmony. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Royal Conservatory of Music, Canada, 10 grades of music, I grade five or six, there's rudiments one, and then a preliminary rudiment theory, it's like written music theory stuff, rudiments one, rudiments two, and then there's harmony three and history three, harmony four and history four, and that's grade ten, it's huge, they're like university courses, and then there's um, um, uh, history five, which is ARCT, uh, associate thing, which I'm doing next year, um, and then there's, um, grade 5 counterpoint and analysis and grade 5 harmony or something like that. Anyway, really big and really, and then of course there's practical stuff for our instruments. So I have, um, now a binder full of the, the, it's got like 110 pages of things I've written for studying and it's all organized. I did those exams. I think they went well. History, I was really thrilled with, even though I had to do two essays. They wrote essays on stuff that I was really comfortable with. I did one on Beethoven, one on harmony, um, on harmony, one on opera, which is really cool because I was, I just written essays about both of those things. The harmony one was extraordinarily tough, but that's okay. So I have my next harmony book, and my mom found like a one dollar copy of a previous edition of the music history textbook, which is good because they don't, they change things and then they don't include things that you still need to know and, yeah, so come, I've done history four, but I have to go back and do history three, long story, I have to go back in January, I'm going to do history three, and how many four, history three, I'm going to take the exam in June, you're not interested, it's fascinating to me, but, anyway, so I have a lot of other things, and I had a choir concert on Sunday, which was cancelled because we had lots of which you can see on my blog. Which, hey, I'll like put the URL here in front of my face. Um. because of the snow and the rescheduled date I can't see at because of this. <clears throat> My last course for um, swimming stuff, lifeguarding, whatever. It's not lifeguarding. I've done all my lifeguarding stuff. I am officially a lifeguard. I'm just not employed. Um, I have to do one more course on teaching stuff. This is... <laughs> you want to see my crappy handwriting from when I was 13? Oh yeah. It has improved. Slightly. Um, so yeah, so I have to, I'm do, I just have a list of them because I need to do some studying and see what I need to work up for January. But this weekend I'm starting this course, this is like, I've done all the life-grinding stuff, I have, I've done the first assistant water safety instructor course, and I have the water safety instructor course. Um, 
this is a gigantic double-sided card for what strokes and how much of a stroke kids need to know in different levels. That's something there. They used to be 12 levels, now they're 10 levels, and yeah. So I get to teach kids how to swim. I've never been in swim club, but I get to. I cannot say I'm the best swimmer in the world, but this is from NLS. If you are in Canada and you ever decide to become a lifeguard, I will laugh, ha! <laughs> because that is like the hardest course in all of history. Especially with an intense instructor like the guy we had. So I get to do like, um, for AWSI, we had to assist with swimming lessons and um, come up with lesson plans and stuff. So for water safety and stuff, we actually have to teach the classes ourselves and come up with all the lesson plans ourselves and learn more about teaching and being politically correct so that we don't hurt anybody's feelings. Um, and of course how to teach the strokes and everything. This has been like, bah, a year and a half, almost two years since I did this. But the good thing about this, I'm going to do the course in January, the course got was full, couldn't get in, I'm going to do it in another town, um, which means I have to do it right now. And, um, but the good thing about that is that I'll be able to submit my resume for all the people that are doing the course in January are done, because then, yeah. Then I will be officially a Canadian lifeguard swim teacher person employable. And that's good because people like us. We are strong. No weird squishy things. Anyway, I don't want to diss anyone <laughs> for people watching this who probably... Anyway, I love you, Maria. Um, and I'm being really crazy today, but I've been watching other people's videos and I'm just like in other lands. And I'm using my hands like this a lot. Hello. So I guess I better get back to studying and maybe wrap a few gifts and go make a snow angel or something. I don't want to stop making a video. I'll upload this and get back to work. Tschüss! Ciao! Arrivederci! What's the other word? Uh, Konnichiwa! No, that's hi! Okay, hi, bye!